Hey everyone, welcome to the second year of my Twisted Christmas series. First tutorial up is Jack Skeleton from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Though this movie is a Halloween movie, I think it works as a Christmas movie too. And watch out because tomorrow I'm going to be showing you how to recreate Sally. I created sugar skull versions of them and I was inspired by two pictures I will link down below. So if you want to know how to recreate this tutorial, keep on watching. To start the look off, I'm using a white eyeliner pencil to draw on the main features and details. This way, I don't paint white onto these areas and then when I apply the black paint, I just end up with a gray color. It also gives you an idea of where everything's going to be, so it helps cut down on errors. So like if you make your eye too big right away with the paint, you have to wash it off with the pencil. You can kind of get an idea of how everything's going to end up looking. After that, you're going to use a white paint to paint Jack's skin. I'm using Major Look by Lex Foundation Brush to paint Graftobian's white body paint onto my skin. Bring the color down onto your neck to paint Jack's neck. If you want to give the illusion of a thinner neck, do not paint your entire neck white. Black and white paint can be a bit hard for people to paint with sometimes because you can really see the streaks with it, like the paint streaks. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your brush doesn't have a lot of water in it. And then when you paint the paint onto your skin, you want to make sure you're moving your brush in a lot of different directions. So up and down, diagonally, to help get rid of the brush streaks. You don't want to just keep going up and down or side to side because if you keep doing that motion, that's how you're going to end up with those streaks. Now take your black paint and start painting in the details and features that are supposed to be black black. I used a mixture of fine thin brushes and eyeshadow brushes to paint these areas. The smaller fine brushes I used to paint around the details like the flower design around the eyes and the bigger eyeshadow brush to paint in the larger areas like the eyes. For Jack's mouth you want to paint a black line going through the center of your mouth to help hide your natural mouth then paint lines going through the mouth to be the teeth. You can paint whatever designs you like on your sugar skull. I went with flowers mainly. Use the black paint to define Jack's neck by outlining it. Then paint around Jack's neck with the black paint to cancel out your natural skin color. Don't forget to paint your ears. You don't want them to stand out with this look. You're then going to go back with the white paint and use it to start filling in some of the details. For me, that included filling in the flowers on the eyes, painting the skin around the mouth, adding dots around the eyes, and to some of the details. Just go back between the black and the white paint to get your details to look how you want them to look. You can paint all the areas that are going to be white white first and then just use the black paint but for me it's easier to go back and forth between the two colors with just different brushes it's um it's all up to your preference you know if you're used to painting with your right hand you're going to use your right hand it's the same way i'm used to just taking one color and then going back with it later it's just my preference to do it this way so you can do it whichever way you like i just feel like when i'm switching back and forth between the colors it's easier for me not to end up like mixing them up too much where the Moving um, on black and the Jack's white will end up suit. looking too great i traced out the suit using the white eyeliner pencil i used that liner to shade around the bottom of jack's neck this area shouldn't be just a black solid color you want to create depth there by creating a gray shadow there so i just mixed the white eyeliner into the black paint to create this shadow. Now take your white paint and paint on Jack's shirt. Then go back with the black paint and use it to paint all of the areas that are black on Jack's clothes black. This includes the cat bow tie he has around his neck and the stripes going down his jacket or coat. I mean jacket coat I'm not sure but that, that thing he wears because he ain't butt naked. Time to switch over back to the white paint. You're gonna start painting the areas that are white on Jack's clothes white. When you're applying the paint, if the white paint and black paint mix together and create gray in some areas, that is okay. For the jacket, that is perfectly fine because it's gonna help shade that and you really want to shade the jacket to make it look more realistic and make it stand out. It's perfect for the shading we'll need on the clothes. 
Then you're going to use the white paint to highlight the clothes by adding white streaks to the bow tie and where the jacket meets the shirt. This will help define these areas and make them stand out. And what I mean by streaks is literally you just take your brush and create like a little streak going through it. Not a straight up line, a harsh white line. You just want a streak that just slightly blends into it. To shade, I use a black eyeshadow with an angled eyeliner brush. You want to shade pretty much everywhere, especially on the clothes where the shirt and jacket meet. You apply the shadow to where they meet and blend the shadow out onto the shirt to create that shadow that would naturally happen if you were wearing an open jacket. You want to shade around the collar of the shirt and you want to shade right below the cat and all the little like parts of the bow tie that are popping out you want to shade directly below it to make it look like it's standing out a little bit more 3d if you want your body paint to be like wow what the heck did that girl just do or that guy just do you need to shade shading is so important so you can make that body paint look like wow you don't want to put too much black shadow onto your brush otherwise it will show up too black on the skin and that's not what you want so you want to make sure you dust some of the black shadow off of the brush before applying it directly to your skin finally if you want to make the face look a little bit rounder or smaller what you can do is use your black paint and just paint over your chin if you paint over your chin and jawline your face is going to look smaller and you can round it out by drawing like a round half circle below there and then if you want to round out the forehead you take the black paint and you just go over the forehead in a round motion. If you plan on doing this it's best to just do it right off the back. There's no point in painting the bottom of your chin white when you're going to end up going over it with black. I just ended up doing that way so I could show you two different versions. Also if you just paint the eyes black you're going to look a little bit more like Jack Skeleton than when you have the white flowers over it so it's up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to have a lot of Twisted Christmas looks out. And again, I'm going to have Sally out tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, like I said. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.